Some time ago, we set out to discover whether cold fusion is real or not. To our surprise, we discovered that not only is it real, it has been known and reported for hundreds of years. Back in the 1700s, biologists noticed that when seeds germinated, there was elements present in the seeds that was not present before they germinated. Even though they repeated the experiments thousands of times over years and years, it was repeatable by everybody that tried it. Physicists ridiculed it. We now know that these biologists were seeing cold fusion happen in plants. Plants were transmuting elements, and they still do. And in fact, recent discoveries have shown that this transmutation, the cold fusion, happens in mitochondria, and it even happens in humans. Anyone can easily discover tons of material by searching social media using the search term biological transmutations. According to current theory, this is not possible. Could it be that maybe our theory is a little bit wrong? So what we find is that cold fusion has been known for hundreds of years and it's just now being accepted. That gives us hope that the notion that all of nature is comprised only of electric and magnetic fields will finally be accepted. The reason we care about it is that when scientists operate with correct assumptions, they'll discover great new things. We'll have automobiles that come with a gas tank that lasts a lifetime, houses that don't need to be hooked to the power line, cities that function without power grids. If you pause the video and read the mainstream perspective, you'll see that they still do not accept the fact that this is happening. This is in spite of the fact that any one of them can do it themselves anytime they want to do it. It's almost as if you were asking the Pope to talk to the devil. They won't do the experiments because if they do the experiments and they find the same results and report the same results, then they will be ostracized just like the other. Even when forced to do it, as was MIT, back in the cold fusion first came out, they issued false report. Eugene Malov discovered that and was so angry that he resigned from MIT. One of the transmutations noticed in plants is that carbon can pick up an oxygen atom and become iron. You can search on YouTube using iron carbon cold fusion and see experiments that you can do, that anybody can do, with two pencils, a battery, and two wires with clips on them. You put the wires on the battery, put the clips on the pencils, just down where the lead is, so it's on the lead. Then you rub the pencils together so that there's a little arc right by the carbon, the graphite. What you wind up with is iron on the pencil, and you can test for that by passing a magnet over the pencil. Rub the magnet on a piece of white paper, and you'll see that the uh, iron filings were attracted to the magnet. Do that before you do the arc so that you'll see that it's not the carbon that's jumping up to the magnet. And uh, do cold fusion right there in your lap. And anybody can do that anytime. There is no other explanation than that uh, atoms of carbon pick up atoms of oxygen and transmute into iron, just like they do in plants that do it.